Cowboy. Oh, that's great. Wow. The kitty is gone. Was that nice? Well, you can't. All kitty was talking. To but you're going to have no music here. Well, you can't hear it because kitty's talking. There's the sound is gone. I think you lost your hearing. No, I think. I think it's time for Hebrew See, over the agent you go. for you. We're, we're going to do the kitty here. <laughs> Now and stuff, even like these, you know, walking diagonally across the studio, for some reason he's got the touch. It's actually fun to look at. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Other people have done similar stuff or copied similar stuff. It's just not nearly as good. You know. Didn't you do a voice for Bruce now? Yeah. yeah. He was great to do stuff for. What'd you do? I think shit on your head and instructions for mine. It was a whole day of... What voice did you do for him? Just regular straight announcing. Um, Dennis Diamond ran this video shop called Video D Studios, and he was doing work for Nauman, and Nauman needed to so do you know a person just has a real flat American voice that can do for voiceover? And he goes, yeah, Mike. So that's how it started. Mm -hmm. I first met Mike uh, 1998, seven. Is that before that? Eight, seven. Uh, I think when um, Adam was doing, yeah, well, Adam was, I, no, I knew of Mike, of the Four Walls, but I actually met him, I think it was 1997, just before Frank Sinatra hit the right, bucket. Right, right. Yeah, because I remember you and I went to, uh, I mean, that's when we first got close, when we became friends. Uh, I, I, we, Adam said, can you come and do... Another version she of the Four Summer. Walls, and, um, and I went over to Mike, and then, anyway, they did a video, and I spoke, and then a month was later, was this here in Brooklyn? Brooklyn, at yeah. Bay, uh, Bayard. Bayard, and he, a um, month later, he calls me up, and he said, do you have any white paint? Uh, yes, yeah, do you have any white paint hanging out to because I did a wall painting to wipe it out. Oh, I said, I happen to have a paint, uh, some painting. He said, why don't you come over here with Max? I'll pick you up or something. And uh, and then I was going to do it. And he said, oh, don't do that, but if you could mop the floor. <laughs> and uh, nobody ever asked me to mop the floor. Okay, and nobody you can't say that's really in her skill set. Yeah, if anyone knew me, they forget it. And we, I think I, I was doing therapy on you, and I analyzed. He was talking about his dead mother and his ex-wife, and we spoke up, went on for two hours. I never mopped the floor or painted the thing. Yeah. And then a couple of young ladies around eleven o'clock was calling him, asking him if he needed any help with anything because he was this poor bachelor by himself. And I said, you know what? Fuck this guy. I'm. But I, I never lifted a broom or painted, but we did analyze his dead mother and the ex-wife. And then we had a bond with Frank Sinatra. Remember, remember we went to dinner over at uh, Fred and uh, Laura's, and Kurt was there, and we liked Frank, and then Kurt went off about how crappy Sinatra was. I, I fell in love with uh, Frank Sinatra. His crooning when I was in Texas, and this this young guy uh, had all these great Sinatra songs yeah. in Texas when I was at Diverse Work, and I got hooked onto Frank and all the crooners, and there was Mike was the biggest fan of Frank Sinatra, so that was right. it. So that's my story of uh, Mike. He's a monster talent. He's great. Uh, I don't know. It, you know, it's been around my whole life. You do. Yeah. I think actually that you had that Sinatra moment. I was driving down through New Jersey by the Pine Barrens and uh, just had the radio on and and uh, Let's Fall in Love came on and I'm just scooting down the highway and it was just like I had that great little break and then it just cuts and let's boom and then it's like it it just hooked.
you know, and then I stuck ever since. It's just great, great interpreter. You know, he really was, yeah, yeah. But there's, you know, there's a bunch, you know, there are a bunch of great. Yeah, yeah. Tony Bennett. Well, Ella Fitzgerald. Ella Fitzgerald is. I don't think it gets better than her. Yeah, he certainly was. Yeah, I liked Frank a lot. You know, organ donors driving by. Was that our connection, Frank Sinatra? Well, it's one of the many things we enjoy together. You know, that and long walks on the beach. I took her to the beach one time. It was like, talk about a fish out of, you know, by Breezy Point. It's just like, you know, it's this beautiful day on the beach, and all Joyce is spinning around like a drunken top going like, get out of here, there's too much wind. Uh, no, you weren't made for out. The, you were not made for the outdoors, Joyce. Oh. I feel like the, is this all in the family? <laughs> What's going on here? We we have a connection. We are Mr. and Mrs. Williamsburg. Oh, 